Hello everyone and welcome to Sell Me Movie, a subcategory here on the Cavalier Studios YouTube channel where what I do is I discuss films that are either out in theaters, out on streaming, or ones that you may own at home. Of course, these are my personal opinions as a movie enthusiast, not as a professional movie critic, nor would I even say I'm a movie critic. Yes, I mean, I in my way, I do critique films, but it's my opinion, uh, which of course you can say that's what many movie, movie critics say, but... Mine is just more on my personal feelings on them. So, with that in mind, what I will be discussing is, of course, Kevin Smith's 430 movie. Uh, if you're new to the channel, I am a big Kevin Smith fan. Uh, if you're not new to the channel, well, that's something you already knew. So, sit back, relax, and let's discuss. Hello there, and good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and children. Now, if you know anything about Kevin Smith, you know that he likes to talk about himself in terms of his journey on becoming a resident over in New Jersey and becoming the filmmaker that he is. Um, if you are obviously a fan of Kevin Smith, then you will know that many of his films have to do with things that he has either experienced in the past, um, kind of escapism as well, or possibly something that came up out of a podcast like Tusk. Now, some of the films that some people may enjoy and some of the films people may not enjoy. Honestly, I feel like there's a benefit to many films that he has done, uh, depending on the genre, because he tries to hit on all genres, and that's exactly what the 430 movie is, is if you know his stories, if you've heard him talk about his life limit in New Jersey, this film takes place in Jersey uh, in the 80s, as well as takes points of um, his time period in life and to create this film. Now, this movie does... Uh, star Sienna Agudong, uh, Austin Zazer, Kate Mikuchi, Ming Chain, uh, Method Man. Then it does have Betty Amberlin, uh, Reen Northrup, who plays one of um, Austin, who plays the main character Brian, his friend's belly. Uh, then you do have Nicholas, uh, who plays Bernie. Then, of course, if you are a fan of Kevin Smith, then you'll know these names like Ming Chang, uh, Ralph Garman. Uh, you'll know Justin Long, Harley Quinn Smith, Jeff Anderson, who um, plays in the Clerks films. Um, then, of course, you do have Jennifer Schwalbach, who is uh, Schwalbach, who is Kevin's wife. Then you have Ken uh, Zhang. Zhang. Uh, he is f more famous for the Hangover movies. Um, then you do have Ernest O'Donnell as well, and then Sam Richardson. And that's not the entirety of the cast, honestly. A lot of the cast does have some heavy hitters, um, a lot of blast from the cast characters, as well. not so much characters, but actors as well. Now, according to this, this film is a group of teens in 1980s spend the day theater hopping. Um, as much as that film or that description is true, at the same time, at the heart of it, this film is not just that. It's so much more because you do have Brian, again, played by Austin. Uh, he is or has this crush on Sienna, Sienna's character, um, Melody, Melody Barnegat, uh, which if you watch the film, uh, you'll notice that they say her name awfully quite a bit, but if you're going in for a storytelling, you kind of miss that part of how many times that they actually say her name. But regardless, this film is a lot of fun. Um, again, if you are a Kevin Smith fan, it does play in a lot of his history growing up in New Jersey. So you kind of see elements of where, hey, I heard the story about this and he incorporated it in this film. Like for an example, Brian uh, goes along all day with a voice recorder, something that Kevin has said in interviews growing up is he did have a voice recorder to kind of capture the ideas. And that's kind of what Brian is saying um, in the film. Of course, you do see a shot of Quick Stop as well. And the the area that it's filmed at is actually Kevin Smith's theater that he does own in Red Bank, New Jersey, which is awesome. Um, but yeah, all in all, if you are a Kevin Smith fan, I feel like you guys would like this. You would enjoy it. It does have the banter of friendship uh, in there too. The three friends going at one another. Then of course at the, the topping point, the climax of the film, then the friends kind of disperse, but at the end of it, they come back together. So really this is a buddy film all in all. And if you are a fan of 80s movies, then this movie is absolutely for you coming back from like the references that are in the film, the musical elements in the film. So it really does feel like Kevin Smith's um, childhood captured in a movie. 
Um, and like I said, if you are a fan of Kevin Smith, then you'll absolutely like this movie. So by all means, rent it. I have it on my Amazon wish list as for buy, and hopefully, you know, I may get it for Christmas. You, you just never know. But all in all, it's called The 430 Movie by Kevin Smith. You guys can rent it uh, today, so if you don't get a chance to rent it, I'm sure it'll be on streaming or go buy a copy yourselves. I mean, again, you'll, you'll enjoy it if you're a fan. So with that in mind, that concludes this movie review. And if you like this movie review, please hit the subscribe button, like, and comment on the channel or the video. And we'll see you guys next time for the next review. Mm -hmm.